Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in my office and I've got new hair. I have not um, shown the new hair on the internet yet, but um, I got my hair done a couple of weeks ago and I went shorter and I went lighter. So anyway, let's get into the video. Today I am here to share my 31 day minimalism game for January 2019 with you guys. I did this for December 2018. I will link the video up in a card wherever it goes. I had such a great positive feedback from that video. I challenged you guys along my journey for January and so many of you have been tagging me on Instagram. I've actually been sharing this journey on Instagram as well and Facebook. So if you guys want to follow along um, or see what, you know, see it again or whatever, um, I'll leave my links down below. They're always down below for you guys. But again, I got rid of over 500 items again. I didn't address this in the past video, but I got a lot of questions on how I was disposing of the items. I know when some people do the minimalism game, a lot of people are very tempted to just throw things in the garbage. Um, I did not do that for either of these challenges. I donated anything I possibly could, and then if it wasn't able to be donated, I recycled it, and if it wasn't able to, to be recycled, then it went in the trash. I don't think many items went in the trash, to be honest, but I had a lot of um, garbage bags full of stuff for donations, and now all of the donations are gone from my home. So it's very, very clean and very, very tidy even though my office uh, closet looks kind of like a little hot mess, but let's not talk about that. It's an organized mess, guys. It's an organized mess. But I had so much fun kind of going through all of the different areas of my home. I got rid of stuff um, in the kitchen, lots of stuff in the bathroom. Um, I also got rid of like a bunch of travel things because I, to be honest, I haven't traveled since this past summer. And um, a lot of my travel items I just really wasn't using anymore or were old and needed to be tossed out or I used them up. Um, I also got rid of some clothing, which was awesome. Awesome. some organizers, lots of office stuff, which some was in here, some was downstairs. And if you guys have watched my channel before, I love decorative planning and I got rid of a bunch of planning items as well. All the planning items um, I did say in the description of my Instagram and Facebook posts, all the planning items I am donating to my local planner group and what they do with them is a bunch of them, you know, they either take what they want or anything that is left after the donation and the like kind of de-stash table as we like to call it, um, goes towards a school district. District. So we actually donate that to a school district that, you know, people can play with, you know? So to touch on one little thing before I show you everything as well, um, I touched on this on the, in the last video, is that this is definitely helping a lot with my anxiety. I get a lot of anxiety from things. Um, I also get a lot of anxiety from like circumstances as well, but um, definitely purging the things has really helped clear my space as well as clear my mind. And I know a lot of people, you know, don't have that specific kind of anxiety where the stuff doesn't matter. But to me and my journey, it really does matter. And it's been helping so, so much. But I just wanted to touch on that. Um, clearly, this is not a cure for people's anxiety. This is just my journey, but it's just been helping so much. So without further ado, let's get into all the things I got rid of. So here is day one of the minimalism challenge. I am getting rid of this vacuum. I've had it for more than a decade. It does not work well anymore. I've tried to repair it time and time again, and I actually just got myself a replacement. So goodbye vacuum. You've been good to me. Day two is two coffee mugs. Day three is three glass containers. Day four are some kitchen items and two plastic containers. Day five is a cutting board, two wooden spoons, an egg slicer, and a scraper, all from my kitchen. Day five is five plastic storage containers. Day six are six pair of thermal socks that I never got around to giving away for the holidays this year, and I don't wanna keep them any longer, so they are going to donation. Right, Doyle? Day seven is a mug and some sauce containers that the lids never really fully sealed so I got these actually for salad dressing and one of them spilled in now I'm done with them because they clearly don't seal properly so this is my day seven all right so here is my day eight it's a bunch of office supplies and some planning stencils that I will never use I'm not a stenciler person and then this is actually for my label maker and it's broken Doyle's helping model but yes it is broken and there is no saving it so this is my day eight. So for day nine, I'm getting rid of a bin, an old iPhone box, 
a little sign, a little gift card holder, and this kind of breaks my heart a little bit. I have a Polaroid zip, and I gotta tell you, I absolutely loved it for a really long time, and they changed the app, and I don't like it anymore, so I'm gonna be passing that along. So I've got the zip, the cord, and then I have two pads, or like not two pads, but two things of extra paper, and this is the um, case that I stored it in. So I am going to be repurposing that for somebody else. All right, day 10, we have this window cling film thing that I used a very small piece of and I don't need any more. Some kitchen knives, a pitcher, and then two decorative vases. Day 11, I'm getting rid of some old travel containers that I no longer need. A Dove deodorant that's all used up. And three different funnels. All right, it is day 12 and I am getting rid of all this doll furniture that I have. A few years back, I purchased a hearth and hand dollhouse. Came with all this furniture, but I have no use for it. So it's going away. For day 13, I am getting rid of a bunch of travel items. A bunch of this stuff is either expired or completely empty. I have no idea why I was holding on to it. It no longer serves me. So anything that can be donated will be donated. Everything else is going in the permanent file. So day 14, I am getting rid of a bath mat, a bunch of stuff from the bathroom, a travel case, a small little container, and these little white things right there are like little scoopy things that I got from Sephora years and years ago. I don't think I need that many, so they're going away. So here is day 15. There's a ton of stuff from my bathroom, a few expired products, things I'll never use. There's some hair stuff that I absolutely hate and some shower puffs that I am going to pass along to somebody else. So this is day 15. So day 16 is a bunch of random stuff, mostly from the bathroom. I've got a trash can, a bunch of curling wands, some travel pouches, a random holiday garland right there. I don't know why that was in the bathroom, but it was. I've got a mirror, a makeup brush, a comb, a bunch of rags, and then also this didn't fit, but this is going as well for day 16. All right, day 17 is all clothing. I've got two pairs of heels, three stocking caps, a bunch of mismatched socks, some leggings, a top, I've got a robe, a puffer vest, some sweatpants, and then I also have a scarf. So that is day 17. So for day 18, I have a bunch of organizers, some books, don't judge me about my cool is ice, VHS, it was well loved, but I no longer have a VHS player, so it doesn't really serve a purpose. I've also got some other random things like a electronic cord, an Allen key, some hair ties, and a pouch. And that's day 18. Day 19, there's a bunch of hair clips as well as those like butterfly clips. I don't know if those that's what they're called. I didn't even realize I had this many, but this is day 19. So day 20 is 17 more of those hair clips and three containers. Day 21 is a bunch of these office-y kind of clips. I am actually gonna bring these to my office because I use black clips like this all the time, but I no longer have a use for them at my house. So this is day 21. Day 22 is a bunch of pens and markers that I no longer use, and that's day 22. This is day 23. I have a whole bunch of stickers, a pad of paper, three separate different organizers, some cold weather outerwear, more hair things, and a reusable bag. So that is day 23. Day 24 is 24 Erin Condren sticker sheets that I've either used up or partially used that are gonna be going on to another home. So this is day 24. For day 25, we have 25 different planning items. I am getting rid of these adhesive labels that I got at the dollar spot at Target long time ago. There's 20 of them in there. I also have an Erin Condren cover that I just, don't gravitate towards anymore, and then four different planner sticker sheets. So that's gonna be it for day 25. For day 26, I have a whole bunch of personal paperwork, so I'm glad that this is really blurry right now. Plus, I am going to be getting rid of this folder as well, so. This is day 26. All right, so day 27 is 27 of these dividers. These came in my washi storage system that I purchased from Michael's a while back and I don't need them. So there are 27 of these and spoiler alert, there are gonna be more of these coming up very, very soon. Day 28 is 28 of these arrow paper clips that I got from Ikea several years ago. I've never 
use them, and now they're gonna be passed on to somebody that will use them. This is actually gonna be day 29. There are over 150 bobby pins that you see here. I stopped counting at 150, because I was like, this is not working out. So as you guys know that have ever watched my videos, I really don't do my hair that often, so I don't really understand why I've accumulated this many bobby pins, but I clearly don't need them in my life. So this is day 29, and these are gonna be passed on to another home. So for day 30, there are 30 more of these container organizer separator things. So this is day 30. All right, so as you can see, I got rid of over 500 items. It was awesome to just get rid of so much stuff that just doesn't have any purpose for me anymore. Um, if you guys wanna learn more about the minimalism game, I will leave the Minimalist uh, YouTube channel down below. I believe they're the ones that started it. It was Josh and Ryan from The Minimalists. Normally, they ask you to like team up with a friend or a family member to do the game, and um, you know, you don't really win anything, but you just get rid of of the clutter in your life which is kind of the idea so I want to challenge you guys again because I have more stuff to get rid of and I want to do February which is only 28 days so I want to do a February minimalist game as well so if you guys want to participate feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook I will be posting daily all of the things that I am parting with I will also do another video for you guys so if you're not on social media and you only watch YouTube it'll be up at the very end of February but I definitely have room to not grow but I have room to minimize even more and really taking a long hard look at my things and not necessarily associating value to them, but really thinking about the functionality and if I enjoy the item is really helping my mind see a lot more clear. I haven't gotten rid of any like really sentimental items yet, so I might do a video on that. There's a few things that I actually I think I'm okay with getting rid of, but I think I might do a video about that of how I like came to that conclusion but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video about my mind process basically on getting rid of sentimental items and maybe I can share why certain items are sentimental to me maybe a little story time kind of a thing too I don't know if y'all are interested just let me know in the comments but anyway that is it for me for my January minimalism game challenge 31 days over 500 items are all gone from my home so in Two months, I've gotten rid of more than a thousand items and it feels amazing. I would love for you all to participate in the 28 day February challenge with me. So feel free to tag me on Instagram or let me know on Facebook what you're getting rid of and I can't wait to share more next month. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you